morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I pray you have a good day today. And um, in having the good day, you'll be thinking in your mind and making choices. You will know more by the end of the day than you did when you woke up this morning. I pray life for you, in Jesus' name. Um, we pray for the situation going on right now, anyone in any part of the world. We pray for peace in the name of Jesus. This morning, I'm going to talk to you about life. life. The Bible says that set before you blessing and cursing, life and death. Behold, I said before you, blessing and cursing, life and death. Look a choice. Behold, I said before you, blessing and cursing, life and death. What is your choice? The choice of life. Or the choice of death. What is your choice today? Behold, I said before you blessing and cursing. I said before you life and death. Make a choice. What is your choice today? God says, I counsel you to make the choice for life. Make the choice for life. What can a man give in exchange for his soul? The heavens and the earth will pass away one day. One day, the heavens and the earth, including you, will pass away. And where would you go? Life and death. Blessing and cursing. True life. The Bible talks about pestilence. The one that flies by day, the one that walketh in the night, and the one that walketh at the noon day. Pestilence. True life. Choose life. In choosing life, choose life. Choose life. Choose life. Choose life. Choose Jesus. Choose life. Choose life. Choose life. Choose life. Choose life. And choose Jesus. Because one day the whole world will pass away. One day, the whole world has a whole. Think about it. We pass away. You include me. One day, the heavens and the earth will pass away. Jesus said, not a tittle of the word of God will fall down to the ground or pass away. When that day comes, we come. where do you suppose you will be? Bringing me back to the topic. I said before you, life and death, blessing and cursing. What is your choice? If you are choosing life, you need to choose Jesus. How? Invite him into your heart. Jesus, I am sorry for my sins. I invite you into my heart. That is it. We are starting here, everybody. But as nature, you are asking, why are these people here all every day? We are trying to enable you to make a choice for life. That thing doesn't just happen. Something doesn't just happen to people by winning a lottery. You can't 
gate to get rich from winning lottery. Yes, you might be rich. One day, the statistics have been that 99.9% of people who won the lottery in the millions, several millions, became poorer than they were before they won the lottery. So the lottery cannot make you rich because your mind needs to be rich first before you can actually apply the riches you get through the lottery. God loves you. I said before you, blessings and curses, life and death. Choose life.
into people's life. Yes, the devil forces his way into your life. God doesn't do that. He wants you to genuinely make a choice and love him. Just like him. He loves you. God loves you. I want everyone to know that you are special. Because most two fingerprints are the same. This is scientific evidence. So I call you a limited edition. Don't try to be like other people. Our destination, our work in life are different. Don't try to copy other people. Life is full of color. Give your life to Christ. Get to know Jesus. Just invite him. Invite Jesus for the marriage. You went and told that lady you want to marry me. And then the lady said yes. So Jesus has said yes already. You need to come in now. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Jesus, 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 come into my heart. That is all you need to do, an invitation. Okay. He says, behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I am knocking. If any man will open the door of his heart to me, I will come in and sit with him and be with me. That is why we are saying, Jesus, come into my heart because there is a knock on the door of your heart. Amen. Amen. Knock, 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 knock. Say hey, yes, yeah. Jesus, come in. Jesus, come in. Knock, 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 knock. Yes, yeah. Jesus, Jesus, come in. Come into my heart. Help me to live for you. That is all. Come and get free Bible. In case you are thinking, what are they talking about? We are persuaded by what the Bible says. That's right. We have three Bibles in every language. Come and get one for yourself. It's free. It's free. The Bible is free. We've got a lot of free Bibles here for you. Go and check it for yourself. Check it for yourself. But please know that God loves you. God loves you. That God is mindful of you. That's right. God is very, very, very mindful of you. He is concerned about you. God is concerned about you. You might be feeling lonely. Nobody cares. Where is God? I am here to tell you, he is mindful. He needs your invitation to come in and help. That's right. You have to invite him in so he can come in and help you. Amen. Invite the Lord. There is no like the Lord. The Bible says there is no name given under heaven by which any man can be Born again, you are going to church. Get a Bible and read. Know who you are. Read the Bible. You tell you who you are, so you can be persuaded and know the scriptures for yourself. Some people are preaching in the church from our pastors. Yet they don't know the Bible, so they give me. Read the Bible. We've got free Bibles here. Read the Bible. Do you need a free Bible? We've got free Bibles here for everyone. In your language too. In your language. Put your heart to the Lord. 
Give your heart to Jesus. That's right. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Amen. If you don't give your heart to Jesus, the devil will have it. And you'll be in trouble. Both physically and literally when you die. That's right, Joe. Whether you reject him now or you accept him now, you will meet him one day. If you meet him now before you die, he will be your friend and help you. That's right. If you meet him after you die, you are standing before judgment. It's too late. If you, if you meet Jesus now, accept him now as your Lord and Savior. He will help you. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He will direct you. He will show you where you ought to be. But for adventure, you reject him and say, No, I don't want him. I don't think there's a God. I don't think Jesus died for me. And blah, blah, blah. When you die, you will meet him as the church. You will meet him as the church. So I counsel you. Meet him now. Accept him now as your Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins now and walk with him now. So that when you die, even though you will come before the judgment seat of Christ, it will be for a reward. It will be for a reward. God bless you and have a wonderful day. So, so blessed. It's good. It's a good day. Amen. Amen. That is no other way.